Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and give this problem a shot. When you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, let's start by reading this question. It says the function t based on x is shown in the table below. So we have x and t of x, right? p based on x. Determine whether this is linear or exponential. Well, linear has a constant rate of change, a constant slope, right? rate of change. Exponential does not have a constant rate of change. It has an exponential rate of change. In other words, it has a constant amount that you're multiplying by or dividing by. So instead of adding by a constant rate, you're multiplying by a constant value. Uh, and here, what you might notice is that our slope is always constant. So for example, uh, if I do 10 minus 7.5, I get uh, 2.5, right? And then here, negative 3 minus negative 1, I get negative 2. So our slope is 2.5 over negative 2. And then if I do it again here, I get another 2.5 over negative 1 minus 1, which is negative 2. So it's, again, the same slope, and so on and so forth. Or you can read it the other way. If I go up 2.5 here, right, here I go down to 5 to 3, and it's the same slope. Another way you can read it, I'll just change color, here we can go up to, so I'll change color to up to, and then down 2.5. Just to clarify, that's the same slope, right? Negative 2.5 over positive 2 is the same thing as 2.5 over negative 2. Those are equivalent. So it doesn't matter which way you read this. Now you can say here that it is linear. You can explain it by saying it's linear because this function, right, has a constant rate of change. And you can say that it is m equals 2.5 over negative 2. We can reduce that if you want, but this is the, I think they will get the idea. All right, hope this helped.